in the previous video we did talk about internal energy in more detail right um, mechanical energy uh, largely speaking is the most familiar forms of mechanical energy are kinetic energy uh, which is equal to half uh, m v square and potential energy which is uh, equal to m times g times h right and on a per mass basis uh, i get uh, ke equal to uh, v square by 2 and uh, pe equal to g times h right and uh, but however uh, let's say i have something like a pump for example right and i have water going in and water going out and if i consider uh, this to be my system right um, what does a pump do a pump increases the pressure of the water right so the pressure of the water here is different from the pressure of the water there right and uh, the pump his job is to increase the pressure of the water that's basically what it's doing um, and uh, uh, for example if i have a turbine instead of a pump uh, the turbine is basically trying to extract work from a fluid which is at high pressure and uh, the discharge pressure is then lower than the inlet pressure of the fluid so basically this pressure is doing some work right so the pressure here of the fluid is doing some work on my system it may be positive or negative depending on whether it's a pump or a turbine or a compressor or a gas turbine right um, it may be positive or negative but this pressure here is doing some work on my system and similarly my system is doing some work on the fluid that is leaving because uh, there's there's like a piston effect of the pressure being uh, applied on the fluid and the pressure pushing the fluids out of the system right so therefore uh, there's some uh, energy associated with that as well that we got to account for and that is uh, the uh, what is called the flow work and this is uh, generally equal to p by rho right so the total mechanical energy um, e mac so i can write a specific mechanical energy as p by rho plus ke plus pe right why don't i write a capital e mac it's because it has no real meaning because i am talking about a flow right which is continuously happening so there's no point talking about a mass because the mass is moving right and uh, it's moving through a system and so there's no real meaning talking about a mass right um, rather what i can do is i can talk of, talk about i can account for the energy crossing this boundary right how much is the energy crossing this boundary how much is the mechanical energy crossing that boundary right so i can talk about how much energy crossing a boundary per unit time right so for example let me uh, expand this a little bit so i have uh, a tube like this and i'm talking about the energy that is crossing this boundary that way right so i'm talking about how much energy is crossing this boundary per unit time right so i'm talking about joules that is energy crossing per unit time that is seconds or uh, i can also talk about it in uh, watts right so i talk about uh, rather than talking about a capital e i talk about a capital e dot mac right uh, and that is equal to m dot times e mac and that is equal to m dot times p by rho plus k e plus p e right and what is m dot m dot is the mass crossing this boundary per unit time right so it's the mass crossing per unit time so m dot has units of kg per second right so this has units of uh, joule per kg right and uh, this has units of uh, joule per kg multiplied by kg per second so that is what you can call it joule per uh, second or what um, so those are the units of e dot mech right what is m dot again i would like to um, emphasize this point again m dot is the mass crossing this boundary per unit time right uh, it is not the same as 
dm dt. So, there are two terms here that we have to uh, carefully understand uh, what they actually mean, right. So, uh, what is m dot and what is d m d t, right. Uh, both have units of k g per second. This has units of k g per second, this is m dot and this is uh, has units of k g per second also, right. So, but they are very different uh, and uh, they have nothing to do with each other, right. Why? Let us look at uh, an arbitrary system, right. right. And let us say that uh, this is my system and uh, this is uh, for example, uh, one of the uh, inlets to the system and uh, let us define my system that way. right and my system may also have another outlet somewhere there right now uh, what is m dot uh, m dot is for example m dot here is the mass crossing this boundary per unit time so this is uh, mass crossing boundary per unit time. That is how much of the mass is entering from this pipe into my system, right. Or in other words, how much of the mass is leaving from this system into this pipe, right. And, and that is uh, m dot, right. And uh, this one I will call m dot in, because this is an inflow. Uh, this one I will got m dot out because this is an outflow and remember that there could be multiple inlets and outlets to a system, not just one or two. So, there could be multiple outlets. So, this one also I will call m dot out. Uh, if I want to differentiate it, I will call m dot out 1 and m dot out 2, right. So, but um, this is uh, whether I call it m dot in or m dot out, it is the mass crossing a particular line or a boundary or a surface per unit time and that is very important to remember, right. What is m? m is the mass of the system at any given point in time, right. So, m is the mass of the system m, right. And this mass is changing perhaps, because it could be because the inflow is more than the outflow or the outflow is more than the inflow. If any of these happen, then the mass inside will change, right. And the mass let us say is m, the rate of change of mass inside the system is d m d t. So, this is rate of change of mass So, again uh, to emphasize this is rate of change and this is mass crossing per unit time right um, and uh, this is uh, crossing either into a system or out of the system that is what is m dot right whereas d m d t is rate of change of mass inside the system that is what is the change of mass inside the system right and i can have uh, for example i can have um, i can have an m dot in um, which is not zero um, so for example So, let us say that um, I have a water tank and uh, I have a pipe that delivers water to the water tank at let us say uh, 2 kg per second, right. And let us say I have a pipe that leaves the water tank and I adjust the valve here such that the outflow uh, is uh, 2 kg per second, right. And now I talk about m dot right so let's say uh, i talk about m dot m dot in and that is clearly 2 kg per second right and m dot out is uh, 2 kg per second again right and 2 kg per second coming in 2 kg per second going out so that means 
there is no change in the water inside the system, right? Assuming no other chemical reactions, etc., going on inside the system, right? So, which means that the mass of water within the system remains constant, assuming that this is just a simple water tank, right? So, the mass does not change, which means uh, dm dt is 0, right? Rate of change of mass is 0. So, here I have m dot in is not 0, m dot out is not 0, but dm dt is 0. Right. So, it is very important to recognize that this and this are two different quantities, although they have the same units kgs per second and they have nothing to do with each other. Right. They may be related through an equation such as the conservation of mass, but they themselves have nothing to do with each other. Right. Now, let us come back to um, this m dot here. So, I am multiplying the m dot with the specific mechanical energy E mech uh, and then I am getting the total rate of energy crossing uh, a boundary e either into the system or out of the system right and that is how I account for the energy coming in through a flow a me mechanical energy coming in through a flow right and if I want the total energy coming in through the flow then I have to add up the internal energy as well right. So, E dot Right. So, this is the total energy. So, this is the mechanical energy crossing this boundary and if I add the internal energy inside the brackets, then I get the total energy of the, the total flow energy that is crossing this boundary per unit time. Right. So, that is how we account for energy crossing into and out of a system. Right. 